Hi, my name is Molly and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's called Paper Zebras, which I will explain the name in a minute. Um, I have been fortunate enough to be married to the same wonderful man, Kevin, for 17 years. We just had our anniversary. I have two sons, they're 14 and 9, and they are very entertaining and energetic and keep things very interesting around here. I also was a teacher for a long time, and my husband is a teacher as well. And um, my passion though was swimming. I Anything to do with water, I was a swimmer for a long time. And then when I couldn't do it anymore, I coached for six years and loved every minute of that. Um, and the reason why I really wanted to do a YouTube channel, especially now, is because I have a very rare condition. Um, syndrome and I really want there to be a place there's there's many sites there's many channels and websites and blogs um, people explaining what their life is like with any condition and chronic illness and and things like that um, I'm just really hoping that the experiences I've gone through can help somebody I have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome which is a connective tissue disorder. And I will have a video explaining all about it. It's too much to go into um, in, in one you know, intro video. But I really want people to, it, it's very hard to diagnose. And not a lot of doctors know about it, even still today. I was diagnosed 20 years ago and it's still hard to get diagnosed. I got lucky. Um, but I really want people who are scared and not sure what to do, not. Uh, don't know how to get help, um, just how to get through day-to-day -day things, how to speak to doctors, what kind of materials, items, braces, things like that might help. Um, the quickest way to explain EDS is it's a collagen deficiency, not deficiency, faulty. It's faulty collagen, which Collagen isn't everything. It's in your bones, muscles, tissues, ligaments, tendons, everything. And instead of being elastic like rubber bands, we just stretch. And it affects everything, every cell in our body, because it's, it's in our DNA. It's genetic. Um, I, again, will go all into my personal story later. But basically, I've had two shoulder reconstructions. I've had hip surgery, and I'm hopefully waiting to get a second one uh, very shortly here um, to help. But it just, it's a very painful, chronic condition that not many people understand. And one of the most beneficial things for someone with any chronic condition um, or any illness at all is that you have someone who gets it. You know, you can talk about a pain you're having, uh, just something that was difficult for you, family that doesn't understand, anything like that, and that you know that you are speaking to someone who gets it. That is absolutely priceless. Um, and I hope that this can be a place for that. I certainly don't know everything at all. Nobody does about this. Um, and I'm actually hoping for this to hold me accountable. I need to be better at research and uh, keeping up with the latest uh, studies and information about EDS also. Um, one thing that is very important, and again, I will go into this in more detail because it is so important, is to find balance in your life. When you have EDS or again, any illness, a condition that causes you pain and takes you out of your everyday life, takes you out of everything that you know and are familiar with, it is very important to find balance between dealing with it and having to talk about it, having to get help with it and wanting to know information, reaching out to people on Facebook and YouTube and, and, um, you know, any, in any way to communicate. Um, it is so easy to get caught up in it all the time. I've seen people on Facebook, uh, groups and they're on there Every single time I go in there, they've posted something, they're having conversations that it, for little, the littlest things. And you have to be very careful not to almost get addicted to finding out about it, um, which is where the name comes in. 
The zebra stands for, oh, and I wore my zebra sweater for the occasion. Zebra stands for anybody with a rare medical condition. There was a, my dog's gonna bark, of course she is. Hold on. So the zebra stands for anyone with a rare medical condition. Elders danlos syndrome has just adopted it as their, I don't wanna say mascot, but their symbol, their, a ribbon, just like pink, the pink ribbon is for breast cancer awareness. The zebra is for Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. Uh, and it came from a speech uh, at a, or for med students on their first day of medical school. And the uh, professor who was giving the speech said, if, the, if there are, if you hear hoof beats, let it be horses, not zebras. Meaning look for the most obvious first, go for the most common, the most known first, because zebras are more rare than horses. You know, that's, that's what you go tend to go to last or as a last resort, or hopefully what finally gets discovered that you have. Um, so that's what the zebra means. Um, and I think we kind of say, if you hear hoofbeats, it's zebras or let it be zebras. Um, that is probably one of the biggest challenges is getting doctors to understand and know what to look for. Um, it's called an invisible illness, um, which means just to look at me, to look at most people with EDS, you wouldn't know anything is wrong with us. You know, I'm sure many of us that park in handicap places, you know, parking spots know that look that why are you parking here? You shouldn't be parking here. You look fine. What's wrong with you? Um, I've heard horrible stories about people getting cussed out and everything for um, parking and handicapped, and they rightly deserve to be there. Um, so I want to go into all this. I want to explain it. And another big problem I hear, I'm very fortunate. I don't have a family issue with people not believing me or giving me a hard time, but there are so many that do. Um, I, just terrible stories about people dismissing their family member because they think they're hypochondriacs, they're lying, um, just trying to get attention. And it's awful. It's awful. It makes you feel so much worse. And you start to doubt yourself and you start to wonder, who do I go to about this then? Well, I want to be a place to go to anybody on YouTube or any social media forum that has, that talks about their story, talks about what they've gone through with EDS watch it, read it, uh, email people if, if it'll help, if you really need some private information, anything, anything to help bring you some peace that you know that someone understands you. I wouldn't want to make a video that is, that says, show this to your family member that doesn't believe you, um, because they, they need to get it. Uh, maybe even one to show to a doctor. Um, but that's really what I want. Now, that, so that's where the zebra comes in. The paper comes in because that's the other side of the balance. While it is so important to take care of yourself and learn about your condition um, as much as you can in a healthy way, you also have to find the things that you can do. There are so many that you won't be able to do anymore. I was a teacher, I had to stop. I could not stand on my feet anymore all day long. Um, my body literally said, you're done. And um, sw I had to stop swimming when I had my first shoulder reconstruction and I could never go back to it. Um, couldn't coach anymore. I've lost children because of EDS. And again, I, I'm fine with sharing all of this because if it helps somebody else get through it, maybe that's why it happened. Um, there's a lot of why me, why is this happening? And for me, I feel like part of that is to reach out and help other people that are scared and don't know how to handle this. They don't know if it's normal um, or they just feel very alone. And I want to just have some answers and support. Um, and I hope that discussions happen, nice discussions happen in the comment section. Um, if you really have true questions, um, you want to share part of your story, 
or to say, hey, I've been through that too. That way people know that they are not by themselves. They are not going through this alone. It used to be that uh, people thought EDS was incredibly rare. Um, I remember, I think five years ago when I went to my first EDS conference, it was, they thought one in 10,000 people. Then the next year it was, okay, one in 5,000 people. Now they think it's like, you know, I don't know, one in 150 people or something like that. I can't remember. It dropped a lot though. It's just so misdiagnosed and the levels to which people have it are, it's a spectrum syndrome, I guess you could say, where it, it can affect people so differently from where you never notice it, you never know you have it, to bedridden, wheelchair, surgeries, everything, and everything in between. Um, so let's be there to support each other and um, share what we've learned. Ask questions. If there's something you want me to try to find out, you want me to try a product, you know, maybe that's something we can do on here too. You know, test out a brace, test out, um, you know, a, a new cane, a new whatever, you know, maybe we can do that. Even things like utensils um, can be a huge help, make a big difference in how you can go about your everyday life. Things that help you close buttons on your clothes. It can get like that. I've needed help. I, I need help, even from my son, sometimes putting my socks and shoes on. It depends on the day, it depends on the hour. Um, and I just, I really wanna get the truth out there to what living with EDS is really like. Um, so those in our lives, those that don't have it, can get some kind of understanding. Um, thank you for joining me. Oh, I didn't even, fin okay, so the, the paper part, my, the thing is find what you can do. Like I, that's, that's when I went on my tangent. I go off on a lot of tangents, I'm sorry. That's where I went off about all the things I can't do anymore. But what can you do? What am I able to do? I love anything to do with paper, meaning stationary, writing. I love writing. I'm actually gonna try NaNoWriMo this, this year for the first time. Um, books, any kind of book, just even just looking at books. You know, it's, books are my drug of choice. Um, you know, it's anything, uh, art journaling, uh, my planner, even, um, just, it's just anything to do with paper list making. Um, I want to share all that. I've been making cards. Um, I'll have my Instagram, uh, channel linked to, or page linked to this. And, um, I have pictures on there, some of my art journal pages and, uh, some cards that I've made and artist training cards that I've made. And I want to do a lot more. Um, it's hard. It's hard when there's days that you can't focus on anything. Um, days when you're in so much pain you can't speak. Or you're so tired that you literally can't stay awake. Um, but when you can, do it. Because you have to get your mind off of what's you know, wrong with you, excuse me for saying it that way, but it's, you need something else in your life that you can be passionate about. Um, and that's what I hope to discover here, you know, so please join me. Um, I'm sorry, this is going on a little long, but I just, I really want um, people to come back and I want you to understand that this is a channel that hopefully will be helpful to all of us suffering from anything and, and not, I, I wanna put things on here that have absolutely nothing to do with um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or anything like that. Um, so I hope you'll join me. Thank you for listening to me go off on my tangents and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye-bye.